for Bini Bini Pilipinas USA 2016 is Bini Bini 14 Nicole Saniza. The crown marks the beginning of a journey. The path to our dreams. We are the finest representations of today's young Filipina Americans. Confident, intelligent, and driven with a purpose to serve. Strong Beanie Beanies from across the USA come together once again to showcase the beauty, elegance, intellect, and pride in our great culture. Tonight, new dreams begin. Tonight, we crown the new Beanie Beanie Filipinas Team USA. Tonight, we crown the new Beanie Beanie Filipinas USA. From Los Angeles, California, with your hosts, Casey Concepcion and Casey Montero. Co-host, Mark Anthony Nicholas. Special guests, Miss Universe, Dianara Torres. Actor, Reggie Lee and Kat Castro. Performances by Don Robinson, formerly of En Vogue and CeCe Peniston. Please welcome, Casey Concepcion and Casey Montero. Gentlemen, magandang, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. It's so great to be here at the fifth and very special anniversary edition of the Binibining Pilipinas USA Coronation Night alongside my good friend, Casey Montero. Thanks, Casey. <laughs> you know what, I was, I'm so excited actually to be here in front of all you guys. There's actually three reasons why I decided to come here and take this. First of all, it's awesome. I like to come to LA. Second, I love hosting. And third, the most important is to let everybody in the world know that there are actually two Casey's. Casey Concepcion and Casey Montero are two totally different people. I've never heard that before. For my whole career in the Philippines, people are like, Casey Concepcion. <laughs> I'm like, it's not even funny. Good joke. It's not even funny. Does it happen to you? Do they ever say Casey Montero? She, she, no. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. She's the mega child, okay. so I guess that works. You'll but anyways, okay. I am super happy to be here tonight with all of you guys as we crown the most deserving candidates from 30 beautiful contestants here at Bini Bini Filipinas USA 5th anniversary, and I can't wait. We're sure you've all been following the conversation online using hashtag BPUSA2017. All of that culminates here tonight as we crown the new Binibining Pilipinas USA and Binibining Teen USA 2017. Tonight, the contestants will compete in the swimsuit evening and the interview segments. Each group will be judged separately and tonight's 21 Miss candidates will be narrowed down to 10 semi-finalists, then down to five finalists, while tonight's nine team candidates will be narrowed down to four finalists. That's right, and joining Casey and I tonight is Emmy Award winning producer of The Talk, Mark Anthony Nicholas. Hello, Mark. Thanks, Casey and Casey. So to start us off, the contestants are about to hit the stage wearing their national native costumes. Now, these costumes are handmade, made out of natural fibers, feathers, wires, and complicated construction. This is the most ambitious national costume competition ever. So exciting. Back to you. We are very proud to present this year's candidates for Beanie Beanie Pilipinas USA and Beanie Beanie Pilipinas Teen USA accompanied by Junior New System. That's right. Yep. So audience, are you ready? <laughs> Been reading books of old, the legends and the myths. A 
Achilles and his gold, Achilles and his gifts Spider-Man's control, and Batman with his fist And clearly I don't see myself upon that list I want something just like this I do, I do, I do, I do from Rosemead, California. I'm your Beanie Beanie Teen 4, Lori Caminos from Gardena, California. Hello everyone, I'm Beanie Beanie Teen 5, Angel Faith Solid from Fontana, California. Beanie Beanie Teen 6, Jessica Velasco of Canoga Park, California. I'm Beanie Beanie Teen 7, Ariel Santos from San Diego, California. Mabuhai! I'm your Beanie Beanie Teen 8, Asia Aragon from Pasadena, California. I'm Beanie Beanie Teen 9, Skylar Legaspi from Irvine, California. Oh, I want something just like Washington, District of Columbia. I'm Beanie Beanie 2, Kylie Nishida from Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm Beanie Beanie 3, Karina Hernandez from Houston, Texas. I'm Beanie Beanie 4, Pamela Sagenson from Tustin, California. I'm Beanie Beanie 5, Lee Custodio from the city of Los Angeles, California. I'm Beanie Beanie 6, Sherry Dario from San Diego, California. I'm Beanie Beanie 7, Eunice Martinez from Los Angeles, California. I'm Beanie Beanie 8, Nicole Vieira from Granada Hills, California. I'm Beanie Beanie 9, Mauricio Barrientos from Fullerton, California. Rachel Pinasso, Beanie Beanie 10 from Tarzana, California. Beanie Beanie 11, Kelly Sneeza from Pasadena, California. Nicole Kalina, your Beanie Beanie 12 from Chandler, Arizona. Beanie Beanie 13, Heather Domingo from Bakersfield, California. I'm Beanie Beanie 14, Amber O'Connor from Eastville, California. Beanie Beanie 15, Michelle Molina from New York, New York. Beanie Beanie 16, Cheska Angelis from Tracy, California. Beanie Beanie 17, Janet Hammond, Los Angeles, California. Beanie Beanie 18, Kyra DeCastro from Carson, California. Beanie Beanie 19, Nikki Zawetta from Northridge, California. Good evening, I'm your Beanie Beanie 21, Brooke Legaspi from Irvine, California. Here's candidates contending for the crowns here at Bini Bining Filipinas USA and Bini Bining Filipinas Teen USA. Please, let's give them a well-deserved round of applause. All right. The competition is starting to heat up. Stay right there. We'll be right back.
Congratulations to Beanie Beanie Teen Social Media, Patricia Santos. Beanie Beanie Teen Congeniality, Asia Aragon. Beanie Beanie Teen Photogenic, Zarina Kwong. Beanie Beanie Teen Best in Talent, Asia Aragon. Beanie Beanie Teen National Costume, Asia Aragon. Beanie Beanie Social Media, Rachel Panasso. Beanie Beanie Congeniality, Pamela Seginson. Beanie Beanie Photogenic, Mars Del Barrientos. Beanie Beanie Best in Talent, Jessica Angelis. Beanie Beanie Best in National Costume, Janet Hammond. Those were highlights from our preliminary competition uh, that happened at Boulevard 3. What a world-class fashion show with a lot of fierceness. But you know what, Case, honestly, that looked like so much fun, and I wish I had the chance to rock those outfits. Fierce Yeah, you, you, you do a fierce. I do a really good fierce, though. So it looked like a lot, of, a lot of fun, and the people of IEG would like to thank some people. For the Stars Fashion House, and of course, Jacob Meyer for the outfits. And the Honorable Preliminary Judges, Priscilla Hunt, Gina Alexander, Edwin Raquel, Virginia Argueta, Richmond Jimenez, Crystal Khalil, Chris Liban, and of course, Ellie Madi. Again, many thanks to our preliminary competition judges. The 2017 winner of the Beanie Beanie Filipinas USA will receive a round trip ticket to the Philippines a chance to compete in an international pageant in the Philippines, a talent development contract with Viva Entertainment, $1,000 worth of beauty treatments from Estella Skincare, and $1,000 worth of hair treatment from Cherry Salon. The winner of Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA will receive two round trip coach tickets to the Philippines, a talent development contract with Viva Entertainment, $1,000 worth of beauty treatments from Estella's Skin Clinic, and $1,000 worth of hair treatment from Cherry Salon. So now it is our pleasure and honor to introduce our distinguished panel of judges. Paris Hilton, Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Britney Spears, and Gwen Stefani all have performed on stage or walked in his spectacular designs. Please welcome celebrity designer, Ellie Maddy. He's the voice that trained many of today's greatest singers and entertainers, including Andrea Bocelli, Whitney Houston, Katy Perry, Steven Tyler, Lionel Richie, and dozens more. Please welcome the voice builder to the world, Gary Katona. A major league World Series champion with the Boston Red Sox. He was selected to represent the Sox in the 2007 All-Star Game as a shortstop, of course. He has been in films like Moneyball. Give it up for Royce Clayton. He is the Senior Vice President of Hunt Enterprises, a real estate development firm, and a singer, composer, musician who composed and recorded the theme song for the 1987 Philippine Constitution. Please welcome Ralph Moore. She is the three-time Emmy Award-winning television judge on Christina's Court and Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez, one of the highest rating shows in daytime television. This is the Honorable Judge Christina Perez. She's a Puerto Rican American actress, singer, TV host, and model who became a celebrity and is well loved in the Philippines after her reign as Miss Universe 1993. She returned to Manila earlier this year to judge the Miss Universe pageant, held over there the one and only Dianara Torres. <laughs> She's something else. 
She's hosted the popular TV show Trip na Trip and was a senior TV reporter, media productions manager, and producer before she joined the Philippine Department of Tourism. Help me welcome Undersecretary Kat De Castro. He's a Filipino-American stage, film, and television actor who has portrayed characters in Prison Break, Grimm, and blockbusters such as Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End and The Fast and the Furious. Let's hear it for Reggie Lee! <laughs> As a top executive of Filipino Airlines, she draws from her more than two decades of experience and is dedicated to PAL's vision of being the five-star, full-service national carrier of the Philippines. A round of applause for Ms. Michelle Narvaez. Well, thank you to all our judges who are here with us tonight. And believe me when I say, neither Casey nor I envy the undertaking you have at hand. Yes, and let's now bring back Mark Anthony Nicholas, who is with our judges. Hi, Mark. Mark hey, hi. how are you, Casey and Casey? So you've hi. met our panel of judges, so let's get to know them a little bit better. All right, I have with me Dainara. Why don't you stand up? All right. What's going through the minds of these pageant contestants? Um, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, nerves, you know, in the back and. You know, it's very normal, but I think, it, if anything, it makes you natural. I mean, it makes you human. It's, it's normal to be nervous, and, um, but try to, you know, impress and, and, and give the best of yourself and show confidence. And I think in the end, it's so hard for all of us as judges to find the right, you know, candidate to represent and, and show the world, you know, what the Philippines have. And, um, but we think uh, we're going to do a good job. Hard. No, it's not going to be easy, but we'll find the perfect um, candidate for sure. Well, thank you so much for being here. Let's give a round of applause for Dianara. <laughs> cat, cat, my beautiful and gorgeous cat. How are you tonight? Um, I'm okay, and um, just like the other girls, I'm also nervous because it'll be hard for us judges to crown the new titleists. Right, right. Well, so in your opinion, what characterizes a Filipina woman? Well, I would say that Filipinas are naturally beautiful and very intelligent. And at the same time, we are also oozing with resiliency, meaning we are adaptable. Whatever situation you put us, whether it's difficult or easy, we'll always come out as winners or survivors. I love that. Let's give a round of applause for Kat. And is Priscilla Hunt here? You are the CEO of Hunt Enterprises. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. I'm, yes, I'm the CEO. How do you feel tonight? And do you have a favorite pick? Really, I cannot tell you who my favorite pick is. But uh, I'm pretty sure that whoever I pick is the best one. Yes. So it'll be our little secret. Yes, it's a secret. Mom's the word. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Priscilla, for being here tonight. <laughs> All right. So coming right up, we have the swimsuit competition. So don't go away. And now I don't know about you, but I think it's about time that we really get into this pageant and get into one of my personal favorites. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the swimsuit competition, that's right. <laughs> The contestants tonight will be wearing designs by Solaire Swimwear, the official swimsuit sponsor of Binibining Pilipinas USA pageants. The Binibining Pilipinas USA pageants are proud of our relation with the Philippine Department of Tourism because it's always more fun in the Philippines! We kick off our swimsuit competition with a tribute inspired by the natural richness, lush beauty, and cultural wealth of Mindanao.
We begin with Beanie Beanie Teen, Saria Nakwang. Pampanga is famously known as the culinary capital of the Philippines. Enjoy the renowned cuisine of the most unique Filipino dishes and be part of the region's biggest festivals, the Philippine International Hot Air Balloon Festival and the Giant Lantern Festival. This is Beanie Beanie Teen, Serena Kwong. Beanie Beanie Teen number two, Melanie Joy Torres. Baguio City contains the sprawling Burnham Park where visitors are able to indulge in irresistible Filipino street cuisine and nostalgia. The 40-foot-tall Lion's Head historic landmark standing amidst the prominent Benguet Mountain Range serves to reflect the strength of the people who are able to call the summer capital city their home. This is Mini Beanie Teen 2, Melanie Joy Torres. Bini Bini Teen 3, Patricia Santos. Famous for their long stretches of sugar-fine beaches and world-class surf break called Cloud 9, Surigao del Norte is known as the surf capital of the Philippines. The culture of Surigao del Norte is celebrated during the annual Bonok Bonok Festival, which showcases traditional ethnic dancing and the beautification of each town within the province. This is Beanie Beanie Team 3, Patricia Santos. Beanie Beanie Team 4, Lori Caminos. Sikihor Island in central Visayas was nicknamed the Island of Fire. Enjoy the natural beauty of the Kambugahai and Lagnasan waterfalls as you go for a swim, relax in invigorating streams, or set off on a hiking adventure in the woods as you fall in love with the fiery scenery. This is Bini Bini Teen 4, Lori Caminos. Bini Bini Team 5, Angel Sullivan. Boracay was recently chosen best island in the world by the Condé Nast Travel Guide. Its most beautiful beach, aptly named White Beach, derives its name from the word Borac, which means white cotton. It's located in Aklan Province, known for its Ati Atihan Festival, held annually in January. This is Bini Bini Team 5, Angel Sullivan. Bini Bini Team 6, Jessica Velasco. Cebu has something for everyone. The country's oldest city and its first capital, it's now the second largest city and home to much of the country's rich colonial history. From pristine white sand beaches to the grandeur of its magnificent historic churches, Cebu has earned its title as the Queen City of the South. This is Bini Bini Teen 6, Jessica Velasco. Bini Bini Teen 7, Ariel Santos. Manila, the capital of the Philippines, is the seat of the country's government and the center of its modern culture. The site of some intense and critical battles during World War II, today it's a busting cosmopolitan metropolis and home to some of the finest shopping and nightlife experiences in Asia. This is Bini Bini Teen 7, Ariel Santos. Bini Bini Teen 8, Asia Aragon. Ilocos Sur is described as a living museum of the rich and colorful past of the Philippines. There you can find an entire town center designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, lined with perfectly restored and preserved architectural monuments from the Spanish colonial era. Beautiful white sand beaches and the historic town of Vigan. This is Bini Bini Teen 8, Asia Aragon. Bini Bini Teen 9, Skylar Legaspi. Capiz is a breathtaking, beautiful province known as the seafood capital of the Philippines. Its name is taken from the oyster shell handcrafts for which the province is renowned. The ancient Capiz church bell is a popular tourist attraction built from sacks of gold and silver coins donated by the townsfolk and weighs over 10 metric tons. This is Beanie Beanie Teen 9, Skylar Legaspi. Ladies and gentlemen, our teen Beanie Beanies in their swimsuits. We continue our swimsuit competition with candidates for Bini Bini Filipinas USA 2017. Bini Bini 1, Crystal Samansky. Variety is Pangasinan's allure, as it is home to many tourist destinations such as Hundred Island National Park, Balinao Falls, the Enchanted Cave, Our Lady of Manawak Church, offering beautiful landscapes, natural wonder, culture and delicious food. Pangasinan has some theme for everybody. 
This is Beanie Beanie One, Crystal Szymanski. Beanie Beanie Two, Kylie Nishida. Kezon is home to many diverse attractions that's known to catch tourists' attention, including the colorful Bahias Festival. Its sparkling beaches and its geological landmarks, such as the active and sacred volcano Mount Banahao. This is Mini Bini 2, Kylie Nishida. Bini Bini 3, Karina Hernandez, Zamboanga del Norte, is overflowing with natural beauty, gorgeous beaches, and historical significance. Visit the famous shrine of the Philippine national hero, Jose Rizal, before exploring the breathtaking Situbo Falls. Tipolok City's upbeat Sunset Boulevard or the white sandy beaches of Alugay Island. This is Beanie Beanie 3, Karina Hernandez. Beanie Beanie 4, Pamela Saginsin. Feel the heart and historical soul of the Philippines in Bulacan. Bulacan is known as the land of heroes where the first Philippine constitution was drafted. Whether you're a history enthusiast or a thrill seeker, Bulacan has something that will make you keep coming back. This is Bini Bini 4, Pamela Saginsin. Bini Bini 5, Glee Custodio. Negros Oriental is home to the municipality of Manhuyon. Known for its natural beauty, including the seven kilometer strip of the white sand bar that's known as the Maldives of the Philippines due to its unique, unspoiled beauty and stunning turquoise water. This is Bini Bini 5, Glee Custodio. Bini Bini 6, Sherry Dario. Iloilo City is known as the heart of the Philippines. A highly urbanized city in the island of Panay, the rich heritage of Iloilo is proudly showcased by the nationally renowned Dinagyang Festival. This is Bini Bini 6, Sherry Dario. Bini Bini 7, Eunice Martinez. Named after the national hero of the Philippines, Rizal, it has many beautiful falls and caves to explore, the nation's largest freshwater lake and picturesque rice fields during harvest season. Hiking along the magnificent views of Tinapak River is a favorite activity, and the area is popular destination for mountaineering and rock climbing. This is Bini Bini 7, Eunice Martinez. Bini Bini 8, Nicole Vieira. One of the country's archipelago provinces, Batanes is known for its rolling hills and windswept majestic landscapes. Its terrain ranges from rugged coastal areas to soaring mountains. With its close-knit island community, people there are easy to fall in love with. Batanes is the perfect getaway for those who appreciate its rugged beauty. This is Bini Bini 8, Nicole Vieira. Bini Bini 9, Maris del Barrientos. Romblon is known as the marble capital of the Philippines, but aside from its unique marble, the island is full of underrated white sand beaches, wild rivers, and mountains, giving tourists many opportunities for adventure. Romblon has the beauty that travelers seek, offering the bonus of peace and privacy. This is Bini Bini 9, Maristel Barrientos. Bini Bini 10, Rachel Pinasso. Negros Occidental is home to Bacolod City, known as the City of Smiles and Sunshine. A mix of urban and rustic facades brought alive by diverse cultural influences, from its friendliest people to the most delectable native dishes, its irresistible attractions will call you to this wondrous city. Discover Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, to experience for yourself the beauty it offers. This is Bini Bini 10, Rachel Pinasso. Ladies and gentlemen, our Beanie Beanies, one through ten. Bini Bini 11, Kelly Siniza. Cavite is known as the historical capital of the Philippines, the birthplace of Philippine independence, where the first Filipino flag was waved. Featuring beautiful historic churches and majestic landscapes, its terrain rises from coastal to mountainous, and the views of Taal Lake from Tagaytay are not to be missed. 
This is Bini Bini 11, Kelly Saniza. Bini Bini 12, Nicole Colina. Fall in love with a wonderland called Bohol. Its majestic beaches and mysterious caves call your name and beg for exploration. Get lost in the towering greens, visit the local Tarsiers, and let nature take your breath away at Chocolate Hills. This is Beanie Beanie 12, Nicole Polina. Beanie Beanie 13, Heather Domingo. Albay Province is home to the famous Mount Mayon, recognizable for its nearly perfect cone shape. Adventurers can swim with whale sharks in Sorsogon, tour historical ruins, explore Kawakawa Hills, and indulge in a culinary journey. Local dishes are known for their distinctly spicy flavors. This is Bini Bini 13, Heather Domingo. Bini Bini 14, Amber O'Connor. Bataan is a province that is filled with history and beauty. Bataan is revered monument to military bravery that honors veterans who served here during World War II and now welcomes visitors with championship golf courts, crystal clear waters, and secluded beaches with untold adventures waiting to be explored. This is Beanie Beanie 14, Amber O'Connor. Beanie Beanie 15, Michelle Molina. Home to enchanting lakes and lagoons, pristine beaches, crystal waters, rich wildlife, and wondrous caves, it is no surprise that this national treasure is quickly becoming a dream destination. For many travelers from all over the world, escape to the paradise island of Palawan. This is Beanie Beanie 15, Michelle Molina. Beanie Beanie 16, Cheska Angeles. Known as the land of beauty and bravery, Batangas province is endowed with a diverse choice of destinations. From the world's smallest volcano, well-preserved architecture of bygone eras, and now home to a bustling commercial development. Just a short two-hour drive from Manila, this is a favorite weekend spot for residents of the capital region. This is Beanie Beanie 16, Cheska Angeles. Beanie Beanie 17, Janet Hammond. Along with its natural wonders, Laguna Province is the resort capital of the Philippines. Browse for unique wood carvings from Paete, Chinelas from Liliu, and enjoy the Sampaguita Festival in San Pedro, Laguna. San Pedro's recent industrial boom has caused it to be labeled as the Detroit of the Philippines. And Laguna is also considered the Silicon Valley of the Philippines. This is Binibini 17, Janet Hammond. Binibini 18, Kyra De Castro. Zambales province is home to beautiful white sand beaches, the majestic Mount Pinutubo, and the historic Subic Bay Naval Base in Ilongapo City. Escape to paradise and relax in the secluded crescent-shaped Anawagan Cove, or visit historical sites such as Capones Island Lighthouse and the Magsaysay Ancestral House in Castillejos. This is Bini Bini 18, Kyra De Castro. Bini Bini 19, Nikki Zulueta. Nikki invites you to Surigao del Sur where both beauty and adventure await. This tropical area is the home to mysterious blue waters of the Hinatuan Enchanted River, which is said to be the home of friendly spirits that care for its cobalt blue water. Along with its jaw-dropping views, an abundance of bislig crabs are ready to satisfy every seafood lover. This is Bini Bini 19, Nikki Zulueta. Bini Bini 21, Brooke Legaspi. Camarina Sur is filled with blue water coves and exquisitely restored historic churches. Matukad Island is a local tourist favorite, a small island freckled with towering limestone cliffs, an icon of Philippine religious culture. Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, Mother of Peace, Grotto is located at the peak of Katlago Mountain. This is Bini Bini 21, Brooke Legaspi. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Bini Bini's 11 through 21. We would like to now welcome the executive producers of Insider Entertainment Group, Jojo Reyes and Mildred Diang, 
to present the award to the Undersecretary of Tourism, Kat DeCastro. On behalf of Insider Entertainment Group, I would like to express our sincere gratitude and appreciation for the support and encouragement from the Philippine Department of Tourism and our mission of promoting tourism to the Philippines. We recognize that increasing tourism plays a big part in promoting national development, and we pledge to continue our mission of support, supporting DOT's initiatives at every opportunity Maraming salamat, and thank you very much for all the support throughout the years. Every year as part of their prize package, the winners of Binibining Pilipinas USA go on unforgettable island hopping excursions to explore the wonders of the Philippines, meet dignitaries, and participate in community relations. Projects with the locals where the smiles are warm, paradise begins, and their destinies are fulfilled. To show you why it's more fun in the Philippines, here are some highlights of Binibining Pilipinas USA and Teen USA 2016 title holders trip to the Philippines. Watch this. Hello, I am Jacqueline Eluning, and I'm Beanie Beanie Filipinas USA Tourism 2016. Follow us on this year's journey to see why it's more fun on the It's more fun. Philippine Islands. Islands.
Philippine Islands. I'm Nicole Sinisa, your Bini Bini Filipinas USA 2016. I'm Shaya Knight, your first Bini Bini Filipinas Team USA 2016. Want an experience of a lifetime? Join now. Your destiny awaits. Your destiny begins. Island. Philippines. It's time for the next competition of tonight, the much-awaited evening gown competition. And I have to say, after seeing these precious gems in their gowns during rehearsal, they exude exquisiteness that when caught by just the right light, burn with magnificence. I agree completely. <laughs> As with our competition earlier, we will first see the young ladies competing for Beanie Beanie Pilipinas Team USA, followed by the candidates for Beanie Beanie Pilipinas USA. Judges, are we ready? All right, we present to you the bells of the ball in the evening gown competition. Serena Kwong of Las Vegas, Nevada attends school with a focus on media communications. She was an actress in the Philippines. Her favorite Filipino food is kare kare. She advocates for access to education in her home nation. This is Bini Bini Teen 1, Serena Kwong. Bini Bini Teen 2, Melanie Torres. Her favorite saying, death is not the greatest loss in life, the greatest loss is what dies inside while still alive. Never surrender. This is Bini Bini Teen 2, Melanie Torres. Patricia Santos from Los Angeles, California is a champion cheerleader and one day wants to be a doctor and philanthropist. People tend to say she has a kind and well-hearted disposition. She's a girl on a mission. This is Beanie Beanie Teen 3, Patricia Santos. Beanie Beanie Teen 4, Lori Caminos. She believes in the quote that imperfection is beauty, madness is genius, and it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. This is Beanie Beanie Teen 4, Lori Caminos. Angel Sullivan from Fontana, California. She aspires to be a doctor in the future. She is determined to reach her goal because she's in control. This is Beanie Beanie Team 5, Angel Sullivan. Beanie Beanie Team 6, Jessica Velasco. Jessica Velasco of Canoga Park, California, stars on the school wrestling team and competes against boys. She believes this is empowering as a woman, and she one day wants to work in dermatology. This is Bini Bini Teen 6, Jessica Velasco. Ariel Santos lives in San Diego, California. She attends School of Creative and Performing Arts. She believes that wherever you go, leave a little sparkle. She wants to be a lawyer someday, as well as a screenwriter. This is Bini Bini Teen 7, Ariel Santos. Beanie Beanie, Teen 8, Asia Aragon. Asia Aragon calls Pasadena, California home. At a young age, she's already had her acting debut. One thing people don't normally know about her is that she eats like a football player. This young entertainer is a no-brainer. This is Beanie Beanie, Teen 8, Asia Aragon. Beanie Beanie, Teen 9, Skylar Legaspi. Out of all the sports she competes in, her favorite sport is volleyball. Sooner or later, she'd love to give modeling a try. She's got the legs to turn some heads. This is Beanie Beanie Team 9, Skylar Legaspi. Here now are the candidates for Beanie Beanie Filipinas USA in their evening gowns. Beanie Beanie 1, Crystal Somansky from Washington, D.C., received her graduate degree at the age of 22. 
She believes that the next Beanie Beanie Pilipinas USA has to use her voice because it's your choice. Beanie Beanie 1, Crystal Samansky. Beanie Beanie 2, Kylie Nishida. Kylie Nishida, a surfer nurse from Honolulu, Hawaii. She graduated from the University of Hawaii, Manoa. She's a foodie, but she ain't that choosy. This is Beanie Beanie 2, Kylie Nishida. Karina Hernandez is a Texan who wants to be a speech therapist and novelist. She's a big superhero nerd and absolutely adores Chris Pratt, and there's nothing wrong with that. Beanie Beanie 3, Karina Hernandez. Beanie Beanie 4, Pamela Sagansin. She speaks four languages and loves Filipino cuisine. She's a very wan connoisseur and an entrepreneur. This is Beanie Beanie 4, Pamela Sagansin. Glee Custodio, coming from Los Angeles, California, helps save lives as a living as a nurse. Despite her young age, she has a strong career and already owns her own house. She's a successful nurse and her talents are diverse. This is Beanie Beanie 5, Glee Custodio. Cherie Dario from San Diego, California studies cell and developmental biology. She wants to one day empower young women all over the world. She grew up as a military brat that's nothing to poke fun at. This is Beanie Beanie 6, Cherie Dario. Eunice Martinez lives in Los Angeles and is studying to be a psychologist. Her favorite quote is, you can't jump straight to the end, the journey is the best part. She's a very devout Christian because she believes that's life's definition. This is Beanie Beanie 7, Eunice Martinez. Nicole Vieira from Granada Hills, California. Her platform is uplifting impoverished youth. She sure is ambitious and wants to own a business. This is Beanie Beanie 8, Nicole Vieira. Maristel Barrientos of Fullerton, California is studying occupational therapy. She grew up with three brothers, which is why she loves video games. She's got the brains, it runs through her veins. Beanie Beanie number nine, Maristel Barrientos. Rachel Pinasso from Tarzana, California. She believes Filipinos are inherently gifted with artistic abilities. She lives her life as a utilitarian because she's a humanitarian. This is Bini Bini 10, Rachel Pinasso. Kelly Saniza of Pasadena, California, studies business administration. Many people didn't know that she's a track star who advocates for animals. She's a track star, and she's showing up on your radar. Beanie Beanie number 11, Kelly Siniza. Nicole Colina from Chandler, Arizona, attended college in Cebu. She helps organize charity events for orphan girls in the Philippines. She's got meaningful pursuits and stays true to her roots. This is Beanie Beanie 12, Nicole Colina. Heather Domingo from Bakersfield, California, recently graduated from college. Her favorite Filipino quirk is when we call our family friends Ate and Kuya, even though we're not related. She's on a journey to be an attorney. 
This is Beanie Beanie 13, Heather Domingo. Amber O'Connor from Eastvale, California is currently a student of biology. She's a national champion cheerleader who made several TV appearances. She enjoys fashion and would like to try modeling someday. She's been tumbling for a while and doing it in style. This is Beanie Beanie 14, Amber O'Connor. Michelle Molina from New York is graduating with a master's degree in clinical psychology. She's recently walked as a model in New York Fashion Week. She loves yoga and hopes to teach it someday, but first she needs her PhD because she's got student loans to pay. This is Beanie Beanie 15, Michelle Molina. Cheska Angeles is from Tracy, California. What most people don't know about her is that she wants to serve her country and soon join the military. She'll soon be a recruit and trade her heels in for some boots. This is Beanie Beanie 16, Cheska Angeles. Janet Hammond is an LA, California transplant, is studying to be a certified public accountant. The first thing she does every morning is meditate. It gives her a sense of peace to make the good energy increase. Beanie Beanie 17, Janet Hammond. Kyra DeCastro from Carson, California, attends UCLA and is matriculating to become an attorney. One of her passions is in musical theater. She has been in more than a dozen stage plays. There's nothing pedestrian about this thespian. This is Beanie Beanie 18, Kyra DeCastro. Nikki Zulueta from Northridge, California. She can solve a Rubik's Cube in under one minute. She's a civil engineer who is getting an advanced degree in earthquake geotechnical engineering. This earthquake engineer shakes her hips for the continental drift. This is Beanie Beanie 19, Nikki Zulueta. Brooke Legaspi is from Irvine, California. She's a violin and viola virtuoso and an accomplished track and field athlete. This jumper can perform a symphony number. This is Beanie Beanie 21, Brooke Legaspi. And there you have it, folks. A round of applause for our beautiful candidates in their evening gowns. They all look amazing, amazing. Right now, we have something very special for you guys. I'm quite excited for this. I super excited. I'm super excited. Please help us welcome a phenomenal performer, and I want you guys to make some crazy noise from one of the members of one of the biggest selling vocal uh, female groups of all time, talking about En Vogue. En Vogue! Performing one of their hits, My Love and You're Never Gonna Get It. Don Robinson of En Vogue, ladies and gentlemen. I remember how it used to be. You never was this nice, careful man. Now you're talking like you made a change. 
The more you talk, the more things sound the same. What makes you think you can just walk back into her life without a goodbye? Yeah. I just sit back and watch you make a fool of yourself. Cause you are so insane. Your chance to make a change Not the same My love man Had your chance to make a change Never gonna get it, never gonna get it Congratulations to Beanie Beanie Teen Top Runway Model Asia Aragon. Beanie Beanie Teen Popularity Angel Sullivan. Beanie Beanie Teen Best Swimsuit Asia Aragon. Beanie Beanie Teen's People's Choice Lori Caminos. Beanie Beanie Top Runway Model Amber O'Connor. Beanie Beanie Popularity Marcel Barrientos. Beanie Beanie Best Swimsuit Kylie Nishida. Beanie Beanie Philippine Airlines Amber O'Connor. Teen Best in Evening Gown, Asia Aragon. Best in Evening Gown, Kelly Siniza. I love the energy here tonight! It's like a pageant of the Thunderdome. Who are you guys rooting for? Wrong question! All right. Well, Woo! you know, hosting with you has been awesome, and the crowd has been awesome. And I have a secret that, that I have a, a big secret a that secret. I want to tell everybody, but I'm not sure that I should. What's your secret? Should I tell them? Should we? You, you haven't even told me. No, no, I won't. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll save the secret. I'll tell you guys later on. Um, secret, okay. But later on tonight, the best way is probably follow us on Facebook. Then you can follow us on Instagram at BP underscore USA. Yes, that is right. Now we have finally come to the step where we find out who gets a little bit closer to, to getting that crown for Beanie Beanie Teen USA. Ladies, good luck. In random order, here are the names of your top four finalists for Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA. You're not showing me, Case. What's the secret? Come on down. Candidate number four, Lori Caminos. Candidate number eight, Asia Aragon. Candidate number one, Serena Kwong. We've got room for one more spot. Candidate number three, Patricia, Patricia Santos. Santos. Congratulations, ladies. Here are your top four finalists for Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA. Now we have come to one of our last competitions of the evening. This is the uh, very scary question and answer portion. And we're gonna be doing the teen division and this will determine which candidate will be crowned Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA 2017. All right, so four of our judges have a question in a sealed envelope they have not seen. Our candidates will draw a number which corresponds to a judge who will ask the question. 
Candidates will have 30 seconds to respond to the question, and once they hear this sound, their time is up. Good luck, ladies. Only four of them standing here. Whew. Well, I'm getting nervous for you, but I know you're going to do this. All right, let's begin with Beanie Beanie Teen number... One. Zarina Kwong. So pick a number, and that's your judge. Interesting. <laughs> judge number eight, Reggie Lee. Wow, that was fast. Hi, Zarina. What quality is most important in a leader? The quality that is most important in a leader is to be able to be a role model in your communities. It is to be able to affect the lives of the youths and be able to positively inflect ones around you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs> Candidate number one. Next up, we have candidate number three. Patricia Santos. Patricia has a lot Hi, of fans Patricia. in this side of the room. Please pick your judge in question. All right, interesting. <laughs> judge number three, Royce Clayton. All right. What issue is most important to teens of your age today? An issue that I believe is most important to teens in our generation today is not having enough self-confidence. I think that it's important to show your true identity and really know that you're unique in your own way and that being different is okay. Everyone should accept each other's differences and it starts with you. You should accept your own differences from others. Thank you. Thank you, Beanie Beanie. Three. Are we all ready to hear Beanie Beanie Teen? Eight. Asia. Aragon. Bag most of the awards. Let's see how you do on this one. No pressure, anyway. Judge number seven, Undersecretary Kat DeCastro. Hi. Which is better, being street smart or being book smart? Please explain why. I think that being street smart is better than being book smart because with street smart, you can really empathize with people and really understand causes that are happening in the world and you can really bring awareness to certain things that you can't bring awareness to with Booksmart. Thank you. Thank you, Bini Bini Eight. Asia Aragon. Last but not the least. Bini Bini Team number four, Lori Caminos. Please pick your judge. Judge number five, the Honorable Christina Perez. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you. Hopefully this is not a tough one. If you could change something from your past, what would it be and why? If I could change something in the past, I wouldn't change anything at all. I believe that everything happens for a reason, and everything that I've been through has made me the person that I am today. Thank you. Thank you, Beanie Beanie Four. There you have it, ladies. Thank you very much. The hard part is now behind us. It takes a lot of you to keep your composure, and I know that all of you guys are way beyond your years in intelligence and smarts. That concludes our question and answer portion for Beanie Beanie Filipinas Team USA candidates.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The moment you've been waiting for now is finally here. We're going to be naming the candidates for Being a Meeting Pilipinas USA that are moving on to the next round in random order. Your top 10 finalists are... The first of top 10. Beanie Beanie number... One, Crystal Ann Szymanski. Joining her in the top 10. Beanie Beanie number 19, Nikki Zulueta. We'd like to call on Beanie Beanie 8, Nicole Vieira. <laughs> To join the other ladies, Beanie Beanie number 12, Nicole Colina. We're only halfway there. Next up is Beanie Beanie. 10, Rachel Penasso. Joining them on stage, let's not forget Beanie Beanie number 17, Janet Hammond. We have four more left. Beanie Beanie 11, Kelly Siniza. We're down to our last three. Come on down. Beanie Beanie 16, Cheska Angeles. Second to the last of our top 10 is Beanie Beanie 9, Maristel Barrientos. All right, our last spot right here goes to Beanie Beanie number two, Kylie Nishida. with last year we have a very special category and that is the people's choice this was voted on by you on social media the candidate with the most likes wins the people's choice awards and a spot with the finalists in the final competition for the Bini Bini Filipinas USA crown and the winner of people's choice who gets to join the top 10 number 18 Kyra De Castro Please come and join our top 10 Bini Bini Filipinas 2017 finalists. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Take a good look. These are your top 11 Bini Bini Filipinas USA finalists. Congratulations, ladies, who went the distance. And thank you to all of the contestants that joined. Job well done. We admire you all for your hard work. We now move on to our question and answer of our top 11 finalists. Good luck. Each of our judges has a question in a sealed envelope they have not seen. Our candidates will draw a number which corresponds to a judge who will ask the question. Candidates will have 30 seconds to respond to the question and once they hear the sound, 
that sound? Their time is up. Best of luck, ladies. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and start with Beanie Beanie number one. Crystal Ann Szymanski. Hi, how are you? Are you, are you nervous? Are you happy? Are you scared? Are you... It's just a question. Uh, okay. It's just a question, oh. Casey. That's never happened. For that, you get judge number one. Ellie Maddie. If you have uh, just won $500 million in the Powerball lottery, okay, what would you do with it? The first thing I would do is to make sure I take care of my family. My family has made so many sacrifices for me. They put their careers on hold just to make sure I have a good life. So I want to take care of them first. The second thing I would do would be pr pr um, promote my platform, which is environmental conservation, and help young people incorporate sustainability practices into their everyday lives, such as adopting plant-based diets, conserving energy and recycling whenever possible. I want to protect our planet, so I was ever given that money, that's what I would do with it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm sure your family is wishing for that 500 million. A question million. is yes. not just a question. Okay. All right, let's call on Beanie Beanie number 19. Nikki Zulueta. Please pick your judge. Hi, Nikki. I'm not going to ask you a question because I'm afraid of what just happened, so please pick your judge. <laughs> pick your judge. <laughs> judge number two, Gary Katona. Do you think women make better leaders than men? Why or why not? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Do you think women make better leaders than men? Why or why not? Um, as a civil engineering graduate, I believe that both men and women can work together to be both great leaders. I think especially when working in a very male-dominant field, I have seen both men and both women be able to work together. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, candidate 19. All right, let's call on Meeting, meeting number 17, Janet Hammond. Janet, please come up and pick your judge. Judge number four, Ralph Moore. Hi, Janet. In your own way, how can you contribute to bringing a divided country together? I believe that the Philippines is 7,107 islands in the, our country. And with that, we have different cultures and tradition. But it all comes back to one nation. I would use my voice to be a spokesperson to everyone in the Filipino community, even the Filipino-American community, because I believe that we have one roots and that we, have, we all have our values intact. Thank you. Thank you, Beanie Beanie 17. Thank you very much. Let's call on Beanie Beanie number two. Kylie Nishida. Hi, Kylie, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great. So are we, you got that right. Go ahead and choose your judge. Judge number seven, Undersecretary Kat DeCastro. What do you think is the Philippines' greatest contribution to the world? As a registered nurse, it is a... A lot of Filipinos are nurses because we're very caring from the heart. We put everyone before ourselves, and that's why we are known to be caring, loving, and resilient people. Thank you very much. Thank you, Beanie Beanie, too. I feel she got the question inside her head. She said, yes. Yes. 
All right, let's call on Beanie Beanie number eight, Nicole Vieira. Hi, Nicole, how are you? Good, okay. How are you, Case? I'm nervous. <laughs> Here you go. Judge number five, Honorable Christina Perez. What, tra what traits do you admire in another woman and why? The traits that I admire in women is their, their motherly love, their, their ability to love and be compassionate for others. Thank you. Thank you, Beanie Beanie A. Let's call on Beanie Beanie number 12, Nicole Colina. Beanie Beanie 12? Nicole owns the stage. She just... <laughs> she's all about she's it. She's got it. All right. Go ahead and uh, choose your judge. All right. Judge number six, the beautiful Diana Torres. If you were to pick someone besides yourself, to win this pageant, who would it be and why? If I were to pick anybody else besides myself to win this pageant, I would choose any one of my sisters. However, I believe I am most capable and most adequate, and I believe I deserve the crown because I embody what a true Bini Bini is. More than being beautiful, I'm humble, kind, and intelligent, and most importantly, above all else, I have a desire to give back to my Filipino people. I plan on using the public platform to give back to children in the Philippines and to fill the need for underprivileged youth. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you, much. Thank you, Beanie Beanie 12. Family. <laughs> Gotta admire that honesty. Okay, Beanie Beanie number 10. Rachel Penasso. Rachel. Hi, how Ready are you? Judge? Doing good, thank you. Okay, please choose a judge. Judge number nine, Michelle Narvaez. When you look at the mirror at the end of a long day, what do you see? I see a beautiful, strong woman who is God-fearing with strong faith and a woman who is willing to give back to the community. Thank you. Thank you, Bini Bini 10. Let's call on Beanie Beanie number 18, Kyra DeCastro. Good evening, Kyra, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. Yeah. She's so ready, Case. Okay, sorry, go ahead and get your, she's tall. We'd like to call on judge number three, Royce Clayton. All right. What does being a millennial Filipina American mean to you? Well, being a millennial and being a Filipina are very different things in my mind. But as a millennial, I feel like we are strong people, young people hungry to work, to work hard for what they want. And to be a Filipina is the cherry on top and we get to be even more hardworking, even more resilient, and even more confident in who we are and who in our culture. And I'm so blessed that I am Filipina and that my family has taught me to be a good Filipina in this country as an American. Thank you. Thank you, Bini Bini 18. Thank you very much. Well done. I like how when uh, Royce asks the question, because he's a professional athlete, they're like, oh, Royce. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> All right. Let's call on Beanie Beanie number nine, Ristel Barrientos. Hi, how are you? Hello. I'm okay. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Go ahead and pick your judge. <laughs> judge number 
Judge number one, Ellie Maddy. What is your biggest fear and why? Honestly, my biggest fear is probably public speaking. <laughs> However, joining this competition, I really improved on my communication skills and really improved and just became a better version of who I was before this. And I know that I worked really hard to be where I am today. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Good job. <laughs> Let's call on Beanie Beanie number, number <laughs> I'll, I'll just go through. Beanie Beanie number 16. Beanie Beanie 16, come on now. Kindly pick your judge. Judge number six, Diana Torres. What woman would you like to see on the $20 bill? <laughs> a woman that I would like to see in the $20 bill would be Anne Frank. Throughout my high school and uh, elementary, I've always done my research on Anne Frank. I think she's served to be a leader. She's uh, freed the slaves, and she was a slave herself. So I think that in itself is the definition of a leader. Thank you. Maraming salamat, Bini Bini 16. Casey? Yes? Would you like to pick up our last finalist? Yeah. Oh. I'll go get her. This is a tough job, I tell you. <laughs> Beanie Beanie number 11. Oh. She doesn't it's want to hold tough. your hand. I'm sorry. How, are you having a hard time walking in that? No. <laughs> yeah, you did it with grace. It was very nice. Judge number eight, Reggie Lee. I will go. <laughs> Other than your family, who was the person who has influenced your life the most? Other than my family, the one person that influenced me the most is Ellen DeGeneres, because I feel that she's a great leader and a wonderful um, role model to the community, and not only the community, but also to teenagers, because she has a whole big heart, and not only that, she gives and and she listens to others and their own stories and always gives back in their community. Thank you. Thank you very much. Beanie Beanie number 11, Kelly Siniza. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Cece Peniston. We now come to the announcement of the top five finalists in the Bini Bini Filipinas USA pageant. 
Our top 14 Bini Beanies have already been decided, so this is the final step for our Miss or Bini Beanie contestants. I would like to announce to the audience that our official pageant tabulators tonight are from the Harrington Group, CPA firm led by its marketing partner, Donetta Connor. She's my friend over here on the left. <laughs> Let's give them all a round of applause. And on that note, may we have the envelope, please? I've, you already have it? I've got it right here. <laughs> all right, Case. In random order, here are the top five finalists for the crown of Bini Bini Pilipinas USA 2017. Let's start with Bini Bini. What did you say? Actually, you're right. Bini Bini 11, Kelly Seniza. Ang lalakas niyo eh. Our next finalist is Beanie Beanie number 12, Nicole Colina. Take your spot, Beanie Beanie 2, Kylie Nishida. Well, if you're a fan of Beanie Beanie number eight, congratulations, Nicole Vieira. And finally, 19, Nikki Zulueta. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the top five finalists in this year's Beanie Beanie Filipinas USA. Let's give them all a huge round of applause. Which one of these lucky ladies will be crowned the new Beanie Beanie Filipinas USA? I'm here with two beautiful ladies, Nicole Seniza, Beanie Beanie Filipinas USA winner, and Shia Knight, Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA. So Nicole, who's your top pick for tonight? Honestly, it's really hard to say because all the ladies are so beautiful, they've worked so hard to be here, so I guess we're gonna have to see who wins. Awesome, and who's your top pick? Um, also, to add on to what Nikki said, yes, it's a very hard decision. All these ladies did work very hard, and we'll see who wins. <laughs> well, thank you so much, ladies. Congratulations, and you guys did such an amazing job. We love you. What's a pageant without suspense, right? I can definitely feel the excitement here tonight, but you all are winners and you all, you're all so beautiful. Okay, uh, guys, remember that secret that I, I, I told you about? Yeah, that should I was we gonna tell, tell about you it? about? Well, I think it's about time that I, I, I finally tell everybody about it. So, after five years of memorable service to the Philam community, Bini Bini Filipinas USA has grown into a giant family. Throughout the years, we've celebrated together, we've cried together, we've laughed together. And uh, I, I just want to say that this is the last year of Beanie Beating Filipinas. So we're going to have to pack up and, and call it a day forever. That's right. That's really sad. It is. Especially my delivery is very sad. But fear not, folks, Beanie Beating Filipinas USA lives on, but now catering to a wider audience. Insider Entertainment Group presents Miss Filipina International and Miss Filipina Teen International. That's right, we are just changing the name. That was my secret, so it will go on, it will be bigger and better and brighter. That's right, this show is full of surprises, All isn't right. it? Uh, but before we announce tonight's final resorts, we'd like to say goodbye to last year's winners. Here to do her farewell walk is our first ever Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA, Cheyenne Knight. My reign as the first Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA has come to an end. Thank you to our almighty God for his never-ending blessings. 
Thank you, Bini Bini Filipinas USA, for this great opportunity. The lessons learned, experiences gained, challenges conquered, and paved opportunities has taught me to work smarter, be humble, have vision, strive to reach my goals, and stay true to myself. To my pageant sisters, I will cherish our adventures in the Philippines. To my mentors, trainers, glam squad, and my kuya, thank you for teaching me to be confidently beautiful, look my best at every event, and for watching over me. I am forever grateful. Mom, dad, my family, friends, and those who have supported me, words cannot express my most sincere love, gratitude, and appreciation. To the next Bini Bini Filipinas Team USA, this is your moment. Stop and take it all in. Your life's dream has come true. We will announce the winners of the Bini Bini Filipinas Teen USA 2017 first. Our third runner up is Bini Bini Teen number four, Lori Caminos. To present her award are Ralph Moore and Binibining Filipinas Teen USA 2016 third runner-up, Alexandria Borman. Congratulations. And our second runner-up is Beanie Beanie Teen Number Three, Patricia Santos. Presenting our second runner-up, her award are Gary Katona and Ellie Maddie. Now we are down to the final two candidates. Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA 2017 is... Beanie Beanie Teen number... Eight, Asia Aragon! Our first runner-up is Serena Kwong, here to present our Beanie Beanie Team, the USA first runner-up. We have the Honorable Christina Perez and Undersecretary Kat DeCastro. Congratulations, Beanie Beanie, Teen USA. Congratulations to the winners of Beanie Beanie Filipinas Teen USA. Good going, ladies, and best of luck to you as you reign as Teen Queens. She said, I'm so ugly. No, you're not. This is the reason you have a crown. Okay, before we announce the winners of Bini Bini Filipinas USA, let's welcome someone who has so graciously represented this organization this past year. Here to bid us farewell, and pass on her crown is Bini Bini Filipinas USA 2016, Nicole Seniza. Being a part of the Bini Bini Filipinas USA organization has taught me so much about life and myself, and my gratitude is immeasurable. I have a renewed sense of direction that transcends the duties of the crown. I've always been asked what it takes to be a Bini Bini, 
And after a year, I can confidently say that it takes courage. Courage to put oneself before thousands of people. Advocating for a cause is the essence of being a Beanie Beanie. Thank you to the Insider Entertainment Group, my BP USA family, sponsors, friends, and family for the endless support you have shown the Beanie Beanies and I this year. Thank you everyone for an amazing year. I hope to have made you proud. To my successor, I wish you happiness and success. Find solace for your life will experience a transformation for the better and the impact you will have on people will exceed your expectations. Be humble and be hungry to achieve your goals. Enjoy your tenure with your fellow title holders. Utilize the time to bring awareness to your cause and to proudly represent your culture. And now without any more delay, it's time to announce the winners of the Binibining Filipinas USA for 2017. Our third runner-up, Bini Bini 12, Nicole Colina. Presenting the award is Michelle Narvaez and Ralph Moore. And Shakina Pagwigit. Pagwirigan, Binibining Pilipinas USA, third runner-up 2016. Our second runner-up is Binibini Nicole Vieira, number eight. Presenting the awards, we have Ellie Maddie, Royce Clayton, and Crystal Fernandez. Bini Bini Filipinas, USA, second runner-up, 2016. Presenting the awards are Honorable Christina Perez, Reggie Lee, and Cassis Lanzorata. Bini Bini, Filipinas USA, first runner up 2016. In the event that the winner of Binibining Pilipinas USA is unable to fulfill her responsibilities, Binibinang Pilipinas USA Tourism will assume her place and relinquish her crown to the first runner-up. Here we go, Bini Bini Filipinas USA 2017 is Nikki Zuluata, number 19. Congratulations. Which means that Bini Bini number two, Kylie Nishida, is our Bini Bini Filipinas USA Tourism for 2017. Here to present our Bini Bini Filipinas USA Tourism, we have Undersecretary Kat Nicastro, Richmond Jimenez, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Aluning, Bini Bini Filipinas USA Tourism 2016. And to crown the winner of this year's Bini Bini Filipinas USA are Diana Aaron Torres, Miss Universe 1993, and Nicole Sinisa, Bini Bini Filipinas USA 2016. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our Bini Bini Filipinas Team USA and Bini Bini Filipinas USA winners for 2017. Congratulations, your destiny begins. Kate and I enjoyed this evening and we hope you did as well.
well. God bless you all. And thank you so much for your support. Till next time, see you at Miss Filipina International and Miss Filipina Teen International. Congratulations again to all of the winners. Good night to all of you and have a wonderful night.